trying to put as best lap times down as they possibly can. Uh-oh, the Atomic Chili Pot's got a problem there. Just at the start finish line. That looks like a caution flashing one. The caution flag is out yet again. Both the incidents we have Chili Mika Band and on our tackle. Flipping over. We have Lee coming out, all sorts of problems with all sorts of cars. Patrick, there are broken cars everywhere in the pits right now. We have many monsters extended staying in the pits. It looks like Invenicar might be out of juice for today, out of batteries. Out of batteries again. But they at least got the testing. There seems to be Patrick Kitty Miku Band is still on the infield. I'm not sure what's up with them. They've been so busy I haven't been able to get an empty flag. It looks like Cartashubi has lost their Moxie car, their Pinata car. It needs to keep moving now. Oh, they're throwing out, they're throwing out play balls, trying to create some, I guess, obstacles for the racers. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're trying to trick the leaders. Oh, oh! That is a flat out tire. Tommy Chibi. Tommy Chibi's got a flat tire. Oh, wait, the wrong part of the track. He's got to make it all the way around. <laughs> Looks like MIT is really busy in the pits right now. Unfortunately, for the Department of City Foot Carts, that flat is going to put all of their team on a full effort. Both of their cars are in trouble right now. Just bad timing and bad luck, I suppose, in this case. Right now, Mindy, Ferrari, and Phantom are the two teams to look out for, while Cartastrophe is waiting for one of them to make a mistake. Their top three right now is really close. But right now, interesting mess in the pits right now. It's just, let's see what's going on with the Department of Silly go Karts. And my two having problems, but so is all the man's active. But Nimi Gore, Phantom, Cartastri, Hacks the Future, and I say it was in 3-4-5. Those cars have been doing great all day. Right now, they're, they're trying to figure out how to get Chidi Miku Band back into the pits so they can work on it. Patrick, I'm here in the pits right now with Atomic Chidi. They're making a tire change as they got the flat on the foot straight away. In this panic right now, in the Chidi pits, Paul Rader says Rex needs a win here, but she's stuck down in sixth place. And Chidi Miku Band is entering the pits right now, ladies and gentlemen. Another problem for MIT. MIT just cannot build a reliable car. Patrick, it's absolutely madness right now. Checking tires everywhere, trying to switch multiple tires at the same time from both cars. It's incredible that they're able to keep going under this pressure. But right now, they're doing a fantastic job of getting with the cannon out of the cannon. Now we're here on the back switch. It looks like the projectiles were stuffed animals, teddy bears, out on the track. They're on the track now, and not just the power wheels. And it looks like one source works has got the dinosaur. What an amazing catch. Yes, yeah, so Lotus Rex picked up a dinosaur and it's going to get to the crowd. There's a free dinosaur for a young fan out there. Welcome to Apollo Racing, ladies and gentlemen. If you just join us, we have stuffed animals, broken cars, pop tires, tiny hot rods racing against tiny bands. Looks like I just got an elf here. Who wants an elephant? Who wants an elephant? Oh, there's no balls out on the track. Oh no, Fubar yet again. Oh, did I hear another tire pop? Oh, that is not looking good. Who's tire pop? I heard a bad tire is gone. Caution is out. Back to the future blue attire. Oh no. Boy, but I wish they had a time machine for this. Or at least one that works. 
Right now, Hacks of the Future is back off of the track. That is a big, big disappointment for them. And that is a big advantage for everyone else behind them, I3 in Detroit included. Making an opportunity for I3 to make up last the game of positions they lost earlier in the race. Driver change in seven minutes. Seven minutes to driver change. Halfway through this stint here. We're about halfway through this race right now. Let's give a breakdown of what's happened so far. An early battle with Chibi Nikovan and Rudy Ferrari resulted in a little bit of an overcooking with that lovely van in back. And they've had multiple problems since then. Quite the assortment, but every time the RIT Department of Silly Go Karts has fought as hard as they could to get their car back on the track. And they've done a tremendous job so far. They really have faced every single obstacle you could possibly throw at a team with tires going out. I know one person who's has it in the pits, and that's Rotosaurus Rex, because she needs every single one of those people in front of her to fall flat on her face if she wants to win the championship. So does I3 Detroit. They are gaining now on Hands to the Future, their nearest competitor. Because Hands to the Future's tire change. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, Hands to the Future, incredibly quick tire change for them. That was about a minute. Marty McFly back on the track. Not disappointing Doc Brown at all. When that power of its 8.8 miles per hour, we're going to see some serious stuff. Meanwhile, I3 Detroit is seeing a lot of serious potential spaces. They already got the fourth place right now and hunting down Great Lake Garage Car Catastrophe, which is in third place. Second place, Phantom Power Racing, and Nimby Ferrari has stayed out of the trouble the entire race. I3 trying as they might, they really want a medal for today. They are in fourth place, but they got to make up a lot of time on catastrophe. What's really impressive, Patrick, if the uh, Nimby Ferrari can hold them off, it will be the fifth different winner we've had this weekend. Nobody is exactly on top. The pendulum has swayed back and forth constantly, and I3 Detroit is trying to make it sway even further into their advantage as I3 Detroit has climbed themselves back. They are trying to get back up. They are now in fourth place and fighting for a podium finish. Audrey's talking to a Lotosaurus Rex on the front of that. She's going it to go faster. I think she's getting ready for a battery change. I'm going to head to our leader's pit to see what's going on with them so far. Meanwhile, many monsters are there. They're driving two switching strangers. All right, so I'm here with Mimi Ferrari, the leading team. It looks like you've been able to stay out of trouble. Sarah, this is your uh, first race since 2009. You are a 2009 champion racing for the leading team, Mimi Ferrari. How's it going out there? Hey, it's going really, really well. We've got a really reliable and fast car. Do you think you'll be able to make it to the end at this point? Oh, for sure. You're going to walk in that first win in like six years? Yeah, that's right. I'm coming back for the win. That's right. Sarah Sutherland, who's been with us for many years, the first season of the Power Racing Series, she was the first champion. And now she's come back to claim her throne. Lucky 13 back out again. Lucky 13 hasn't been going so well either. We're in eighth place. In fact, it's the really need from Anna uh, Ann Arden, who's been doing the better of them all. On the back end, it's going to be a very loud boom in a couple seconds now. I really want to make sure they cover the rules. Oh, yeah, here you go, Pat. Over next to us. Three minutes. Oh, that was a big one. Three minutes to driver change, dude. Three minutes to driver change. Uh, that must be for someone's happy birthday. Someone has a birthday out there, I guess. But right now, the team that's having the best bet right now is Nimby Ferrari. Oh, we may have a uh, caution with the. Are we in the end with clear and through? And we're going the way. He's right. They managed to clear it up faster than we can react. But they managed to get back on their way. Let's see a look at the rest of the field right now. I'm looking at the uh, Batmobile number 412. They've been fighting their way through the field. It's been up and down for them. 
But right now they are in a solid ninth place, right behind Lucky 13, their nearest competitor, who is right now running on the front straightaway with a lot of camera on the front wheel. And a bit of tooling. More than I think they designed. Yeah, that cat that wheel is going to fall. Oh, maybe 13 into the wall. Oh! Running out of luck again. Oh, the I3 got collected too because of it. They didn't oh, no, it's a caution. I3 did not slow down during a caution. Oh, I3. I3 gets a penalty there from the Grim Reaper. You know what to do when you hear a caution, and that slow down, and then ended up in a tire wall. It's really unfortunate for I3. A couple of mistakes are now costing them positions. Gotta, we gotta reassemble that tire wall now because he decided to go inside it. Don't do that. It seemed like there was no room there. Alright, so we're gonna have to see you in the center of the track. We have a green flag here. And I3 gets to pull in. Oh, meanwhile, Atomic Chibi getting a little too aggressive to the themselves. Where is the Grim right now? He wheels himself is really cut out for him. I don't know what the better thing is pushing out.